this is a this is a standard example, and it comes up a lot. And so this is an off-center circle. A circle is a really easy to describe, but not necessarily if the if the um, center is on the is 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 on the rim of the circle. All right, so that's a different problem. Now let's do this with a circle of radius a. So this is this is the point a comma zero, and this is two a comma zero. And actually, if you know these two numbers you'll be able to remember the result of this calculation, which you'll do about five or six times, and then finally you'll memorize it during 1802 when you will need it a lot. So this is a standard calculation here. So what the, first, the starting place is the rectangular equation, and we're going to pass to the polar representation. The rectangular representation is x minus a squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. So this is a circle centered at a comma zero of radius a. And now, the, if you like, the slow way of doing this would be to plug in x equals, sorry, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, the way I did in this first step. And that works perfectly well. But I'm going to do it more quickly than that, because I can sort of see in advance how it's going to work. I'm just going to expand this out. All right. And now I see the a squareds cancel. And not only that, but x squared plus y squared is r squared. So this becomes r squared, that's x squared plus y squared, minus 2ax is equal to 0. All right? The r came from the fact that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. All right, so I'm doing this the rapid way. You can do it by plugging in, as I said, r equals. So now, I'm, now that I've simplified it, I actually am going to use that procedure. I'm going to plug in. So here I have r squared minus 2a r cosine theta equals 0. I just plugged in for x. As I said, I could have done that at the beginning. I just simplified first. And now, uh, this is the same thing as r squared is equal to 2a r cosine theta. And we're almost done. There's a boring part of this equation, which is r equals 0. And then there's, if I divide by r, there's the interesting part of the equation, which is this. So this is or r equals 0, which is already included in that equation anyway. All right, so I'm allowed to divide by r because in the case of r equals 0, this is represented anyway. Question? How does the case r equals 0 represent that variable? r equals 0 is just one case. That is, it's the union of these two. It's both. Both are possible. So r equals 0 is one point on it, and this is all of it. OK, so we can just ignore this. All right. So now I want to say one more important thing. You need to understand the range of this. So, so wait a second, and we're going to figure out the range here. The range is very important, because otherwise you'll never be able to integrate using this representation here. So this is the representation. But notice, when theta is equal to 0, we're out, out here at 2a. That's consistent. And that's actually how you remember this factor, 2a here, is if you remember this picture and where you land when theta is equal to 0, right? So that's the theta equals 0 part. But now, as I tip up like this, you see that when we get to vertical, we're done with the circle. It's gotten shorter and shorter and shorter. And, and at, at theta equals pi over 2, we're, we're down at 0, because that's cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So it swings up like this, and it gets up to pi over 2. Similarly, we swing down like this, and then we're done. So the range is minus pi over 2 is less than theta is less than pi over 2. Or if you want to throw in the r equals 0 case, you can throw in this. This is repeating, if you like, at the ends. All right, so, so this is the range of this circle.